So what's going on, y'all? This is uh, Napalm, um, and I wanted to do not a vlog or not a blog this time, but what I wanted to do was um, do a video dedicated to the topic that I brought up um, before, which was toxic and toxic people, and the reason why is because... Um, as there are a lot of um, um, light bringers um, to, um, in the world and in the cities and in the communities, there's also a lot of toxic um, people in the cities and in the communities and in the world as well. Um, excuse my voice, a crackle, <coughs> first thing in the morning, on my way to get my run in, get my little workout in. Um, but, yeah, so I made a couple runs this morning, um, nothing uh, severely important, just like post office and grocer and things of that nature. But, um, yeah, man, um, I wanted to bring it up because, uh, because of the effects. Oh, on my last video, quality was horrible. Um, <clears throat> the audio is definitely uh, audible. So you can use it for the voice, like for the audio, but as far as like just using it for um like for the video, like the video don't don't quite match the sound, so like my mouth may move over here, but the but what the the words would be over there, so it's like it's crazy. But um yeah, man, um I wanted to bring this topic up because it's so important because um is you have to know yourself before you can really not help yourself or save yourself, but you have to like know yourself. Um, cause if you start getting mixed up, well, well like I said, well, like, you know, these, um, toxic people or with these toxic groups, like at work or at your ball club or anywhere, wherever you go, even your family. Um, if you start getting mixed up, you know, within all this stuff, um, and you don't know yourself, you could lose yourself within and you know um not all of our hearts um are as strong as not to say that you're a bad person or a weak person because your heart isn't strong or because your heart isn't solidified is that um you you just need a little bit more uh experience you know what I'm saying? you need a little bit more life in you before you can start to dictate or before you really know what your heart is before you really know like how your thoughts follow your mind and how your soul can be in your mind and things of that nature how your heart how your mind can be on your heart and stuff like that man um but you know if you kind of in the balance of finding your heart and finding your mind you know no matter what age you could be um you know you could be you know five ten years old and know your heart like the back of your hand you know but or you could be, you know, 50 years old, you know, still on a journey looking for your heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, there's people who are, um, you know, successful, rich, you know, businessmen. You know, they did everything that they had to do in life, but um, they have yet to really find their heart. And But their mind is good. They use their mind to get ahead in life, but their heart is still what they, what they lack. That's why a lot of, you know, uh, people kind of wait to get married. Um, some people be in a hurry to get married. Some of them end up being disappointed because they rushed it, thinking they was in love. It was just lust. It's just a lot of stuff, man. Once again, excuse the my, the, the crackle in my voice. I just like first thing in the morning. Um, but yeah, man. Um, like if you if you don't know um, yourself, then um, you will be in trouble dealing with. Uh, toxic people because those are the very people that they prey on are the people who are unsure of who they are and the people who are unsure of where their heart is and the reason why is because um they can't operate around people who know their heart because there's nothing that they can there's no uh there's no tricks and there's no tricks and uh there's no games and schemes they can run on you because you know yourself and you know um, what you put up with 
and you know yourself, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, because you know yourself so well, what could somebody do to you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, so it's kind of hard and, you know, toxic people, they need like gateways and openings. Um, they need like, um, they need like holes and like missing links so that they can feel, they can, you know, add, that they can fill that hole in or that they can, you know, um, add that link and um, that link can be them, you know what I'm saying? So they can put their little toxic link in your circle. And now that their little link is in your circle, they they own a piece of your of your you know continuum of your of your circle. Um, but if you know your heart, man, and you know when toxic people come around, more than likely you'll know it because um, um, because you'll feel it. It's it's like an energy field, like I like I said in the last video that came out looking terrible, but. Um, you'll know it because you will feel the energy and the energy will be telling you that this is, this is, this, this don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever they doing, whatever this person is doing is not feeling, it don't feel right. It's not, it, it's not adding up. It's something is not, something is missing. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell, but if you are in the balance, like I say, you're trying to find your heart and you know, you know, one of them, you know, um, toxic people come around you won't know because you you don't know your own heart you you kind of still you looking around you looking for help and you run into one of these toxic people and deep down you know the you know these toxic people is going yes i found one because now you know they can use you and you can be that guinea pig for all of their little toxic games and little you know toxic schemes and all the unnecessary shit man that you know toxic people do um, they can now use you for it, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to be a part of that. Like, believe me. Um, my family is not toxic. Um, my family is far from toxic. Uh, on both sides, till I got lucky. Um, some families, actually most families, have like, uh, part, you know, light bringer, part toxic. Um, both sides of my family is actually light bringer. But, like I said, you know, as you grow up and as you learn... And, um, as you begin to see, and you, as you begin to venture into like different types of people, you know, you run into different people, you know, it's just a part of life. And it, like I said, it's not like, you know, um, toxic people are bad or anything like that, but, um, I feel like they are damaging, um, they are damaging good people cause they, they starting to get good people to turn toxic because they starting to make good people feel like, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong because they run it. They run the gambit so well, you know what I'm saying? They run their toxic program so well that they can make you think that you're doing something wrong in your life, you know what I'm saying? And they can make, especially if you're down on hard times, like if you like out of money, like if you like me, if you like, you know, don't really have any money, like, you know, you got a lease, you don't really own your car, you know, you got somewhere to stay, but it's not really yours. You really have to know your place in the world, you know what I'm saying? Um when these type of people come around because they'll, they'll try to uh, get you to see yourself different. And that they'll try to get you to think you're something that you're not. You know what I'm saying? So you really, you really got to know your place. But, um, yeah, you know, so, you know, when you out, you know, and you know you got your family with you and you got your family and your thoughts and things of that nature and then, you know, these toxic people come around. If you are... Um, I don't want to say gullible, but if you think it's starting to rain, if you are, um, I think I'm going to move over here, uh, where this is not going to be wet, but yeah, um, yeah, so like if you are, um, if you, you know, happen to, um, come across these people, like, you know, my, my biggest, um, question about all of that was um was you know uh, what do you do you know what I'm saying when you come across these these uh, toxic people or how do you survive and the, those those have been my biggest questions because you can't like I said you can't avoid them you know what I'm saying you can't you know um run away because they're everywhere you know what I'm saying and they're surviving too just like we are and 
Um, you know, it's not like, like I said, like, it's not like you can run away um, because you can't, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like you, you yourself have to be, number one, strong enough to even spot one of these people. You got to be smart enough to even spot one of these people. Got some water on the, on the lens. You got to be smart enough and you got to be strong enough to even spot and know what one of these toxic people are. Um, and and they will sneak up on you. Like I said, you won't catch them all because um, not all toxic people just give just give it away that they're toxic. You know what I'm saying? Some some toxic people are uh, are very uh, very smooth and very uh, tricky with how they move. So you won't even know that they were toxic until you get close or until you try to get a relationship and you know with them and things of that nature. Um, but um, and some toxic people, like I said, um, they are that way, but they don't even want to be that way. Like I said, some of them, that's just how they are. That's just, they didn't choose to be a toxic person or their family may be toxic. And if they're not toxic, then their family might feel like, excuse me, their family might feel like they're um, abandoning them or something like that. But you try to get your people to understand, like, this is the way of life is hurting um, us as as human beings. And, you know, this way of life is, is impeding progress um, on us as human beings. It's impeding progress. And when I mean that, I mean, like, us getting along as a people, getting over certain things such as race, getting over certain things such as status, getting over certain things such as you know where you live at, which shouldn't deem who you are as a person, which your race shouldn't deem who you are as a person, which your status shouldn't either. But when you when you got these toxic fields that are all around you, it makes you it makes it that much harder to deal with the life that we are already living. So why throw extra toxic garbage, you know what I'm saying, into the mix when life is already a mystery in itself is already um, hard, hard, hard on itself. Um, and now you got all this garbage, extra garbage to deal with. Um, but yeah, you know, some of us can understand that. And some of us want to make a change. Um, but a lot of us don't really want to because it's just the way of life we've grown accustomed to. And a lot of us have even grown to find it funny. Um, a lot of us have even grown to joke around with um, toxicity, I think it is, uh, if I'm saying that right. We've learned to joke, crack jokes with it and live with it. And it's a part of daily life instead of um, purifying and getting rid of such garbage that's hurting us, is sapping our soul up, um, is ruining our spirit, our good old you know, feel good spirit, you know, motivational wise, just a lot, man. It's just, it's, it's just tearing us up. And I'm wondering like, what do you do to, uh, to, 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 to fix the situation that can be very toxic? Like, how do you, how do you fix it? Cause we got to live every day. And what I've been coming up with is I pray in the morning. Um, and I definitely pray before bed. Now my head it's definitely been, um, I don't want to say ruined by toxic, because I found out a lot of people that I was hanging with was toxic. So I don't want to say, like, my, 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 my head has been ruined by toxic, but I have been affected, just like I said in the last video, um, by toxic people. I've been affected. So, like, the way I think is, it, is a little bit different than how it was um, originally when, when I was growing up. Um, but what I'm trying to figure out now is how to return to my original way of thinking and how to battle toxic situations without losing myself in the battle. Um, because you can always, you can battle all you want, but if you end up losing yourself, you win the battle, but you lose yourself. It's like at the end of the day, it's like you lose, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and you don't want to do that. Because that's the whole point of 
you know, winning the battle, you know, to say, I came, I saw, I fought, I won, and I'm still here. Not, I came, I saw, I fought, but I lost my arms and my legs. And I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's silly like that. But, yeah, man, um, just, um, I wanted to touch on that a little bit this morning because it's been on my mind huge. And um, it's a lot on my mind, too, like I said. Um, but I can only put so much on video. Um, but this is just me touching on it. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to start doing these videos because when I go back and when I uh, look at these videos, I I gain more perspective on where I am myself. Like I said, I do this kind of for myself. I really could save these videos to my phone. Or I could save these videos to my computer, but I put them on YouTube because, number one, if anything happens to my phone or to my laptop or anything like that, um, there's, you know, if they're on YouTube, they're saved um, online. So, you know, it's like a safe space. It's like a safe haven um, for my for my videos, you know, for my vlogs or for my blogs or whatever. So, you know, like I said, if anything happens to the hard drive on my Mac or the hard drive on my HP, um, I can always, um, you know, go online, you know, go on YouTube and, uh, you know, see them there and they'll be safe. <laughs> but um, I really do it because um, I'm noticing that there, there's other, there, I'm sorry, there are other uh channel uh owners who post videos about this about this very topic about like um narcissists um which uh witches um evil sorcery and uh, toxic people and how to deal with it and i see their progress you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm just really just hoping for that same uh for that same uh progress i want that same um i want that same um success with dealing with it but i know it's a long time coming like i said i, I just started this is not going to be easy um and i just want to say that i know that this is going to be a minute you know what i'm saying cuz like I said, I just started. I just came to the realization um, with the different, with, with the with the topics, um, you know, that I came up with on my on my last vlog. Um, so, which was I think it was like police force um, and uh, toxic people. And I normally come up with little topics to talk about. I feel like all of us should have had these things on our mind anyway. They should be like uh, coffee shop conversation type topics, you know. But I just. Like I said, I don't really, you know, um, hang out with a lot of people. Like I said, I have a uh, very uh, select uh, friends or whatever. So, um, but yeah, man. Um, I guess I'm gonna end it here. But that's really what I wanted to touch on. I guess this morning it was something else, but it ran away again. So I want to say uh, for who's ever who's ever watching, um, may y'all have a good day today. Um, be safe out there. If you're in Cleveland, we have an, a light little drizzle right now, so I'll be mindful of that on your commute. And, um, you know, it, once again, if you're a new subscriber or a new person have to come across this video online, uh, subscribe, please. I'm Napalm 2009. Um, hit the subscribe button if you have any uh, topics or comments or any new things that you would like to speak on or you want to hear me talk about or you, you want to talk about or, you know, uh, even if you want to meet up, if you're local, you know what I'm saying, um, then let me know. And uh, we can see what we can do about that. So, absolutely, this is me signing off and um, look forward to more.